Now, moving on to the next one on that list, the fluid density, or rho, symbol rho. Fluid density basically has the effect of increasing buoyancy, and that will lift particles off the low side of the wellbore and into, into the high flow regime where they can be removed more easily. Now, basically, uh, you'll notice that in a vertical well, basically, the, flu the, the, the particles will be falling down to the bottom of the wellbore. But in a horizontal wellbore, they don't, they don't fall all the way down the well. They basically only have to fall across the diameter of the wellbore. And once they're on the bottom, how do you get them off the bottom? Well, one of the ways, the best way, the best type of sweep that you could use to uh, get them off the bottom is a high weight sweep rather than a high viscosity sweep. You'd use a high viscosity sweep in a more vertical wellbore. In a high angle or horizontal wellbore, you're much better off using a high weight or high density sweep. They're much more, much more effective. If we have a look at this wellbore, we've got eccentric pipe because it's lying near the or on the low side, being rotated. It can be being rotated or not being rotated in this case. We've basically got uh, cuttings beds on the bottom of the hole, coming up over the side of the pipe, increasing the torque and drag. A whole lot of cutting sitting there. You've got mud flowing past here, and uh, we've got a high flow rate up the top and low flow rate down at the bottom. Basically, uh, the cuttings aren't moving very well. If we actually look at the uh, flow rates diagrammatically, you'll see that you've got much higher flow rate in this area here and a very low flow rate in this area here. Basically, and that's, that's brought about by the eccentricity of the pipe. Now the flow rate in this regime may, be, may well be twice the flow rate down here, uh, or maybe it'll be actually it may be much greater than twice the flow rate down here. It may actually be twice the average annular velocity up here. But the cuttings are all down here, and they're not going to move from here because you just don't have the velocity to lift them out of there. So you're never going to get the cuttings up to here unless you do something about it. One thing you can do about it, pump a high-density sweep. So if we do that right now, so watch as the sweep comes up, cuttings are coming out, and the bed height is reducing. There you go. Basically, the, as the sweep comes, it's high density, so all the cuttings are buoyed up using the buoyancy effect of the higher density fluid coming past. Cuttings are buoyed up, and they're removed from the wellbore. Now, basically, a high density sweep is a very useful tool. But it's also got, you've got to bear in mind that if you've got a very bad hole cleaning problem and you, you can't use a high density sweep right away to get that, all that material out of the wellbore, because if you um, have a high enough bed height down here and this sweep comes in, all the cuttings will come into suspension at the same time and you will end up with an incredibly high ECD as that sweep goes past your BHA because all the solids material will be lifted off the bottom of the wellbore in one go. So a high, high density sweeps are good to use as a secondary tool while you're uh, maintaining a high enough flow rate normally while drilling, just to ensure that you've got all this stuff out. But if you've got a hole cleaning problem, be very wary about just using that as a primary attack. Use it as a secondary tool, use it for bottoms up and so on, but don't use it as a primary, primary means of getting cuttings out of a wellbore. Use flow rate.